Okay, starting off my um, Dragon Ball review is the saga. Starting off with the Emperor Pilaf saga. The blue midget dude in there is um, Emperor Pilaf. The um, wolf fox looking thing over the ninja dude thing over there is um, Shu. And the chick over there is my. Um, basically, this is just like the main villains for the first 13 episodes. And Emperor Pilaf's plan, I believe, was to become no ruler of the world. And unfortunately, he gets all the Dragon Balls. And, well, uh, let me explain this. Goku, Boma, Oolong, Yamcha. Like, to, to, like, the normal main cast nearly went through a lot of crap just to get all the Dragon Balls. Um, like, there was one stupid reason, one, like, if I can, oh my gosh. Oh yeah, the one where on Master Roshi, um, he has the, one of the Dragon Balls on his neck. Uh, he's wearing it as a necklace. And the only re way he could, um, they could get the ball, was if he Master Roshi told Boma like to show her her underwear. Um, let's just say Boma didn't know she was wearing any, on account of the whole "your balls missing" quote from Goku. Yeah. So um, basically, with Emperor Pilaf's plan, like to become immortal, his two minions, um, Shu and Mai, they always screw up constantly. Like, there was one with a bomb incident, like, the bomb was supposed to set off at 8 a.m., and it was 8 a.m. When they went inside, they looked for the Dragon Balls, and they weren't there. So they got, like, well, blown up. And to tell you the truth, the only reason why Pilaf's plan had actually failed was thanks to Oolong. Um, let's see. Pilaf got all the Dragon Balls, Goku sees the full moon, becomes the ape, and starts wrecking everything like crazy. And when Pilaf's about to say, I'm about to wish for immortality, this is the exact quote. I wish for Oolong interrupts, well, a pair of women in underwear! And he and the wish is granted. What the flip? Okay, moving on from that craziness to the tournament saga. I like this scene too. I like this scene because they're just dancing, having a good time in the beginning. Um, basically, this is the um, first world tournament Goku's entered. And he has to train under Master Roshi. Well, we meet a new guy. We, you know, Krillin. We meet Krillin, and Launch, the crazy chick. Well, the the nice chick at first, the blue hair, and then the blonde crazy one. This proves my fact that all not all blondes are dumb. They're just freaking violent. Um, the tournament saga lasts for about a few episodes. Um, basically, what ended up happening was Krillin lost, Yamcha lost in the first round. Apparently, Nam, he Goku fights Nam. He wins, and I forgot how, and he fights Jackie Chung, which takes a, an extremely long time because it's Master Roshi, and Goku transforms into the ape again, nearly wrecks the entire tournament, um, Jackie Chung blows up the moon in the kingdom come, and basically beats, well, Goku fainted or something, no, he was super hungry, so Goku fainted, and I'm sitting there and watching like he got up he got up and he's like I am really hungry and he just faints I'm like you are up you are right there you almost could have won and yet you fail and, I mean there's always like the next few episodes next on I'm gonna move to the red ribbon army um basically this is Goku's um to set up the um up um muscle tower and how it was stupidly funny, how I find out, like, ah, uh, oh yeah, we meet, um, Jizo Nikan number eight, um, if you don't, if you haven't watched, um, a lot of, um, alternate reality Dragon Ball Z, that's the, um, Japanese naming for, um, Android, and, oh yeah, funny thing for it, and that lasts a few episodes too, but a funny thing was, um, there was this ninja guy that hides underwater, and Goku had, like, a piping hot um, canister of tea or something <laughs> well it was steaming so he pours it down the thing and he just flies out like like holy crap and there was that Arnold Schwarzenegger look like um robot that Goku beats but when there was one general when there's one red ribbon army member down another one's coming to take his place and the strangest one to be exact will be the general blue saga Okay, General Blue's a really strange guy, for starters. One, I think he's, well, you know, out there, gay. 
One, two, he has that really high-pitched voice. Three, he can paralyze you. And four, he captures Krillin and um, Bulma. Oh, if anybody can actually help me answer this question. Does, when every time Bulma gets captured, does she always stick up her middle finger? Please post that in the comments. Um, basically, he gets beaten like about multiple times by Goku. Underwater, at another base, and to tell you the funny part of it, he gets beat by this chick named O'Reilly, or Raleigh, I forgot how to pronounce it, in um, the Penguin Village, and technically that's a crossover anime. I think that's the first time anime actually got crossed over, in like, ever. So, um, the stupidity of um, him getting, getting the butt handed to him by a, by a girl just makes me laugh. I'm like, ah, ha, ha, you just got beat by a girl. You suck. He's actually one of my other sucky villains. But that's a list I should say for later. Okay. The opposite of blue is red, right? So the next saga is obviously um, General Red. Um, it's pretty funny because he makes a perfect mon Bond villain. The eye patch, the, um, yeah. Basically, this is Goku's um, assault on the last of the Red Ribbon Army, going up against um, um, Mercenary Tao. He, Mercenary Tao beats him up, um, kills this Indian's child's father. Um, Goku climbs all the way up to Korn's Tower, um, beats, um, beats Mercenary Tao, goes all the way to wherever Red is hiding, beats everybody there. Um, General Black shoots um, Red, Oh yeah, and um, Black tries to talk his way out of it, but Goku wouldn't like hear any of it, so he just kaba. So that basically ended the Red Ribbon Army. Until the, if anybody can answer that other question, but that'll be till the other review of the Dragon Ball Saga. Next up, we got the Fortune Teller Baba Saga. Um, this is basically another quest to find the Dragon Balls. Um, another funny thing I believe that happened was um. I think it was Yamcha was fighting one of these um, women... F oh, wait. I think that's a different episode. I'm sorry. The wrong saga, I think. Well, anywho. There were just plans to find the Dragon Balls, and they had to fight these warriors. Like, does anybody remember, um, what's his face? Devil Man. There was Devil Man. The guy with the horns in the game. You know, Budokai Tenkaichi 3. Um, yeah. This is basically like the, t the th warriors fight. And if does if that does memory serves me correctly, I think that's the episode where um Yamcha like I think Boma and Yamcha breaks up for something. I please post it in the comments. I, my memory is a little low today. Okay, but going to another tournament saga for for this will be the Tian Shinha saga. Um, one thing that I have to say is really funny though. The Wolfman. There's this guy named the Wolfman and. He's mad at Jackie Chun, um, because he blew the moon sky high last time. And he actually hypnotized him, brings Krillin, um, pretends that his bald head is actually the moon, and he changes to a human. Now, um, Tien is, like, really violent. He's not really a good guy in the beginning. He actually does hurt people. He did hurt him Yamcha, but, like, well, he breaks his leg. And, oh yeah, he does fight Goku, and he, you know that kid Chaozu, he kind of cheated him, almost cheated Goku out of the fight. But I think Goku's still lost, and Tien's like, I'm going to give you half my prize money, but um, Goku's like, nah, I don't need you half your prize money, I just got to keep training to become stronger. That was like the important thing of that. And plus the um, Crane Hermit and the Turtle Hermit, you know, Master Roshi, are like best friends. And, oh yeah, did I meant to tell you that the Dodon Ring was also created by Mercenary Tao, who happens to be learned the, um, Crane Master's, um, other student. And when they find out, he comes back as a robot. Um, yeah, kind of odd, huh? Well, I'm nearly running out of time, so I'm gonna do more of the sagas, or my two favorite sagas, the Piccolo Sagas, next time. See you in a few.